Hello friends, this is a fresh installed Rubal 9 website with our pro theme and in this video tutorial we are going to see how we can create a blog with latest blog post and uh, this will be in a grid layout. So we can see this on the demos of Tara theme. Okay, so if you scroll down at the bottom you will see this latest blog post with the image and then title and then summary. Okay, so let's see how we can create this blog on Tara theme as well as on Tara Pro themes. In this tutorial, I'm using Tara Pro theme, but you can use Tara theme also. So let's see. So first, we will create some content as this is a fresh install site, so we don't have any content. So go to content and here add content. And we will create few articles content type so here i'm pausing this video and i will quickly create few articles content okay so i've created three blog posts you can see my first blog post and then this is second blog post and another blog post okay so i have uh, an image here and then simple text on all blog post image and this text okay image and this text this is an image field okay so just close these fields okay now go to structure we will create a view to display these blog posts in greater layout okay so go to structure then view then add new view, view. And you here let us blog post give it name view name okay so content of articles and use first I'm not creating page here because we are just uh, we are here for this creating this blog so I'm skipping this page so check in create a blog and let us blog post Okay, display format I will select create of fields. Okay, number of items per box I will set this to three and I will leave user page, but you will check this also. Save and edit. Okay, click settings of grade. Now set this number of columns to three and I will leave this checked automatic width and alignment for gentle now I'll check this one default column class and here I will add box okay this is a class provided for styling the theme so I'll add box and default row class I will also uncheck this one and here custom row class I will add full okay now click apply okay now we're going to add some fields currently we have just one field that is title so i'm going to click add then search for image and select image and here format image and image style original image and link image to content okay click apply now again click add and search for body select body add and configure field and here formatter we will select trimmed and we will set limit to 100 and click play okay now i will rearrange these fields because i want to display image at the top and then title and the body click play click save Okay, now in the title, click content title field and here select the flag style and then uncheck add default class and here we're going to select customize field HTML and here we select H4, you can select, you can select H3 also. I'm selecting H4 and click apply. 
and click save. Okay, I think we have done. So let's just go to block layout page. So structure block layout and go to home page content here. Click block, search for let us blog post and display title and just click save blog. So, and here we can see this <coughs> an image and our blog post. Okay, so this is how we can create our blog post with in grid layout. Thank you.